by meeting a group of black and minority ethnic actors who studied there. They believe an action plan for reform is needed to end the racist abuse and discrimination they experienced. Here's our entertainment correspondent, Colin Patterson. Oh, uh, Danny. Uh, Danny and Nio were mates. We video phoned. Shaniqua Okwok has just been in the ITV hit Van der Valk, but she was left angry last week when the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in North London, where she studied, posted online support for Black Lives Matter. For Shaniqua, the school was a place she had experienced racism for the first time. It started during a movement lesson. You're meant to comment what you think you see from the body and you're meant to get a movie title. And his response was Chain Gang. Um, and that was something I thought the teacher would stop. However, the teacher decided to um, overanalyze why um, the student had got come to that conclusion. Um, that really diminished me. Reese Weathers was appearing on stage with David Mitchell in the Olivier-nominated Upstart Crow when lockdown began. His experience at Central was similar. At that particular moment in time, there wasn't any prop guns available at Central for whatever reason. And the person directing that sort of scene, their reaction was, well, I'm sure you know how to source those, don't you? And I sort of looked at them with a deadpan face and that turned into an awkward laugh. What happened this month to stop the payments? Uh, he was getting Elliot Barnes Worrell, who worked with Steven Spielberg in Ready Player One and was also in Van der Valk, graduated from Central in 2012. I'm trying to edge away from anecdotes of black trauma and black pain, because I don't think that's what this is about. But there's a culture of racism and bullying currently at Central, um, where they assume that you don't know things. Now former students have worked together to write a reform plan which they have delivered to the drama school. They have a meeting today with staff to discuss their proposals. We want to hold Central accountable. And that means that we think there should be an external body that can regulate and really see if the school is matching the requirements of this document and ensuring that these students who are coming in are safe within their learning. Since people have been speaking out, it has become apparent that it is a universal problem within the institution. So I guess those changes would need to be implemented top down. I just want everyone to feel like they can go to drama school. And currently drama school isn't a safe place for a person of colour to be at. Central have apologised for institutional systemic and overt racism and say they will learn from shared experiences and act upon them to effect transformational change. Colin Patterson, BBC News.